Hi, welcome back to Book Babies. I have some Mother Goose rhymes and other rhymes for you today. Um, one of the things that they do when they put together these um, programs is they look at what is a good thing to present and the early literacy tip today is that basically doing bouncing or clapping rhymes helps babies, toddlers, and young children feel the rhythm of the rhyme. And that skill will help them pick up syllables in words, which will then help them learn to read. So all these things that just seem fun are a great thing to share with them anyway, but it's helping them read in the process. So the first story I have for you is Hickory Dickory Dock and Other Favorite Nursery Rhymes. And the library has a lot of different um, nursery rhyme books, so just come in and check it out sometime. Um, I just picked a couple that um, I liked. So this one that happens to be illustrated by Sanja Reschuk. And the first, I'll just share a selection of them from the, the book. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. And that one's fun to do as a song too, if you look that up online. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. And that one you can do easily just counting out on your fingers as you do it. And here's a color one. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. And another color one. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Oh, and here's a fun one when they're just little. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with the B and put it in the oven for baby and me. And the hand gesture to that is roll it and pat it and mark it with the B. And the last one from this book. Rub-a-dub-dub, three men in a tub. And who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Turn them out, knaves all three. This little finger play starts. Here is the beehive. Where are the bees? Hiding inside where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. And this is a new one the library picked up called Ten Little Fingers and Ten Little Toes. There was one little baby who was born far away and another who was born on the very next day. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had 10 little fingers and 10 little toes. There was one little baby who was born in a town and another who was wrapped in an eiderdown. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had 10 little fingers and 10 little toes. There was one little baby who was born in the hills, and another who suffered from sneezes and chills. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had ten little fingers and ten little toes. There was one little who, baby who was born on the ice, and another in a tent who was just as nice. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had ten little fingers and ten little toes. But the next little baby, 
born was truly divine, a sweet little child who was mine, all mine. And this little baby, as everyone knows, has ten little fingers and ten little toes and three little kisses on the tip of its nose. And that might be a good one to follow up with. One, two, three, tickle your knee. Four, five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, nine, you're all mine. Uh, at the library, there's also a Tana de pa Paula book uh, that is Little Mother Goose. I saw another one that was illustrated by him, um, and the poems are written by Lynn Oliver, so I wanted to share that one with you today. And it has a toes poem, so. Way down there at the end of my feet, I've got ten toes, they're really sweet. I can count them, make them wiggle. When they're tickled, watch me giggle. I dress them up in shoes and socks and take them out for nice long walks. I'll bet that you have ten toes too. Can you count them like I do? my nose. Upward from your feet and toes, you'll find a thing they call your nose. It's in the middle of your face. This is, I think, the perfect place. For if it were inside your ear, you'd find it very hard to hear. And if it grew out from your knee, how strange and silly would that be? My first word, my first word, what will it be? Mama, daddy, more, or me? I might say baby, ball, or puppy, or hold my hand up and say uppy. When I talk, I might say bird, or maybe words you've never heard, like bingo, gaga, whoopsie, goo, or nummy, wah, wah, doo, ba, doo. Now I only point and coo, but I can't wait to talk to you. Those are some fun ones. And to end with the finger play, the traditional itsy bitsy spider. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. And just a couple play reminders. Uh, one of the things that you can do is to remember tummy time. And sometimes baby doesn't love it, but it's great um, exercise for their neck, for their shoulders, for their arms, for their hands. Um, it gets those muscles strong so that they're ready to do things like grasp. And one of the things that they could practice grasping uh, is if you kind of play a game of in and out. Um, you get out some small boxes or baskets and then you get out um, blocks, soft toys, rattles, measuring cups, um, just different things in different sizes, shapes, and colors so that they can practice putting in and out and taking out. And while they're doing that, you can talk with them about how they put the red ball in the basket or how they took the um, yellow rattle out of the box. So those are just a couple ideas and um, that does it for our book babies this week and I'll look forward to one more time with you in two weeks.